How well can cats and dogs really communicate? Welcome to the Cat and Dog House, where we help cat and dog parents better understand their pets. I'm Susan Nilsson and I'm an accredited cat and dog behavior professional. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how well cats and dogs understand each other, or not. To have the best chance of success, it's best if cats and dogs are exposed to each other during the crucial sensitive stage of development and that those experiences are positive. But often this is not possible, given that the sensitive stage of development is about 2 to 7 weeks for kittens and 3 to 14 weeks for puppies. Here, I am introducing my two foster puppies to resident cat Magnus. They have never seen a cat before and are not quite sure what it is, but I paired the experience with treats to build a positive association. When I introduced my foster kittens to resident dog Roxy, she seemed to sense their apprehension and lay down to make herself appear smaller and less intimidating. How well cats and dogs understand each other is shaped by a blend of factors, including the context of the situation, their unique personalities, their individual relationship, and past experience. Our dog Roman and cat Oakley often wander around the backyard together and even play, but sometimes Roman gets a bit too exuberant for Oakley's liking. When this happens, Oakley either hides or starts hissing, or both. Initially Roman will try to get him to continue, but eventually gets the message and takes a break so they can both reset. This is an example of an interspecies relationship where the individuals know each other and are able to communicate, to some extent at least. Cats and dogs use a range of behaviors and cues to convey their emotions and intentions. Let's take the tail as an example. A dog's tail wag typically tells us that the dog is feeling happy, friendly, and relaxed, although it can have other meanings too. When a dog holds his tail high and wags it rapidly, it is often a sign of strong emotions. These can be either positive or negative. The direction in which a dog wags his tail also matters. Research suggests that a right-sided tail wag typically reflects happiness or confidence, while a left-sided wag may signal fear. When it comes to cats, a twitching tail often indicates annoyance or irritation, while a relaxed tail often signals contentment. A tail that stands upright with a playful curl at the tip usually signals curiosity and friendliness. And we are all familiar with the iconic image of a cat with a puffed up, bushy tail, universally recognized as a sign of fear. Let's now look more closely at some of the ways dogs communicate. Dogs communicate primarily through body language, using their entire bodies to express their emotions and intentions. A happy, relaxed dog will generally have a loose body, wagging tail, and soft or neutral ears. A nervous or scared dog may have a crouched body, with the tail tucked and ears pinned back. An alert or potentially aggressive dog will often have a stiff body posture, ears forward or upright, tail stiff, and raised hackles. A dog's facial expressions can be as expressive as a human's, revealing what he might be feeling at that moment. Raised eyebrows, head tilted, and a soft gaze indicate interest or curiosity. A loosely open mouth, soft lips, relaxed jaw, and soft eyes show that a dog is relaxed. A furrowed brow, closed mouth, and tense facial muscles indicate tension, stress or anxiety. If a dog is reacting to a threat, whether it's real or just perceived, you may see a curled top lip, bared teeth, a wrinkled nose, a rigid upright stance, and staring or a hard gaze. These are all signs of possible aggression if the threat doesn't go away. Dogs also use vocalizations as a way to communicate. From the excitement of a high-pitched bark when you grab the leash to the low growl when they sense a threat. Finally, a dog's sense of smell is a powerful tool for communication, and scent marking is a common way for dogs to interact with their environment and other animals. To learn more about your dog's body language, make sure you download my free dog body language made easy cheat sheet, link below. Now let's take a closer look at how cats communicate. Like dogs, cats convey much of their emotions and intentions through their body language. There are both similarities and differences between the two. Just like dogs, a relaxed or happy cat will have a loose body, relaxed ears, and a neutral or upright tail. A nervous or scared cat may have a crouched body, bushy tail, and flattened ears. An upright stance with the ears alert, stiff body posture, and a puffed up tail indicates that a cat is alert and may potentially escalate to aggressive behavior if he feels threatened. 
Cats also have a range of facial expressions that can be subtle, but informative. A neutral expression with upright ears and a soft gaze generally indicates interest or curiosity. Soft facial muscles, loose body posture, and closed or slow blinking eyes indicate that a cat is relaxed. Tense facial muscles and narrowed eyes are often a sign of stress or anxiety. Ears back, dilated pupils, a hard stare, and an open mouth showing the teeth imply fear and possible aggression, usually as a reaction to a threat whether real or perceived. Again like dogs, cats use different vocalizations to communicate, including purring, meowing, yowling and hissing. Cats also use scent to communicate with other cats and to mark their territory by rubbing against objects in their environment, and also other cats, pets, and people. All these signals can help us understand how our pets are feeling and what they might do next. To learn more about your cat's body language, make sure you download my free cat body language cheat sheet made easy, link below. We can see that there are many behaviors between the two species that overlap, like pinned back ears when scared or anxious, dilated pupils at times of emotional arousal, growling as a warning signal, and raised hackles indicating fear or possible aggression. This can make it easier for cats and dogs to understand each other, as they often react in comparable ways to similar circumstances. At the same time, there is also plenty of potential for misunderstanding. For example, our friendly tabby cat Finley used to love rubbing around the dog's legs, circling back and forth, marking them with his scent. But the dogs didn't understand this behavior at all. They would stand there completely bewildered while Finley wove in and out between their legs, unappreciative of the fact that he was showing his acceptance of them as one of his social group. Cats, though typically solitary in their role as hunter predators, are also quite capable of living in social groups. Dogs evolve from wolves and are social animals by nature, given that wolves are animals that rely heavily on social structures and collaborating as part of a team. For this reason, many of the signals dogs use to communicate aim to diffuse tension and keep the peace, like Lennox on the left's head turn here. Fostering a peaceful coexistence between dogs and cats involves recognizing their distinct ways of communicating. Safety must always be a priority. Despite dogs often having a size advantage, cats are equipped with sharp claws that can do a lot of damage. Even if your pets are the best of friends, Try to ensure that they each have their own safe place where they can retreat and relax without feeling stressed or threatened by the other. Cats often prefer high perches or hidey holes like cardboard boxes, while dogs may enjoy a cozy bed or the sofa. You can also use barriers like baby gates or dog gates to create separate areas. In our multi-pet home, even though everyone gets along just fine, we find the cats and dogs often choose for themselves to spend their time in different spaces. We also make sure the cats always have access to a dog-free, safe space at all times, so they can withdraw if and whenever they want to. When we go out, we always put up a dog gate so the dogs stay in one area. Just to be safe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on cat and dog behavior. Thanks for watching. Come see us at catanddoghouse.com.